This is not a mum jean. <laughs> it is not a mum jean. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I make videos about mid-sized style and body confidence. Today, I am a woman on a mission. A mission to find the perfect pair of mum jeans from home. After nearly a year stuck in my house, which has included a round of steroids and then coming off them, finding clothes that fit is becoming a problem. And so I'm finally being brave and attempting online jean shopping because if I'm honest, I've probably been putting this off for six months. I always seem to leave the high street feeling sweaty, cross, and tearing my body apart a little more than I was when I went in. I have definitely cried more than once on jeans shopping trips, and I think even now they are a piece of clothing that I hate shopping for. <laughs> I think today is gonna to be like exposure therapy because not only am I trying on eight different jeans from seven different brands, but I'm doing it on the internet. All of the jeans in today's video were marketed as UK size 18 mum jeans. That's roughly equivalent to a US size 14. And I'm planning on keeping one or maybe two pairs if I find ones I love. I know that size is just a number, so I'm under no illusions that these jeans will all fit the same. Some might not even fit at all. I know that I have clothes in my wardrobe from a size 12 to a size 20, all of which fit. So please don't judge yourself or your worth based on an arbitrary number on a tag. The whole system is a hot mess. Basically, it resembles me when I leave a jeans changing room. But even if you know all that, and I definitely didn't as a teen, it can still be soul destroying to have to size up. I'm a firm believer that your clothes should be made to fit you. You should not have to change your body to make it fit the clothes. I've personally found watching videos like this one on the internet has really helped make me feel better about myself. I'm going to link a couple I've really enjoyed in the description box down below. I've now hung up all of the jeans. Welcome to my denim wonderland. I thought we should start things off by me showing you a pair of jeans that I love and that do fit. These are from ASOS. I bought them last year and they are in a waist 36, length 32. That's a UK size 18 or a US size 14. So all of the jeans we are trying on today are this size. My wardrobe is severely lacking a pair of basic everyday blue jeans because as much as I'd love to, sometimes coral ones just don't fit the bill. When I'm shopping for mum jeans, I want them to be slouchy, but not too slouchy. I feel like there's a Goldilocks area in the middle where they feel really comfy, but still make your body look pretty fire. Next up, probably the most important criteria for me is comfort. Ultimately, I want these to be a pair of jeans that I can wear sat down at my desk all day without any uncomfortable digging in at the waistband. Honestly, when I say this all out loud, I sometimes think that the hunt for a good pair of jeans is harder than the hunt for a man. Okay, that's been a long enough intro. Let's get into the good stuff and try these on, shall we? This pair is from ASOS Design and they are described as high rise original mum jeans in a light wash. I picked them up for 20 pounds, which I think is pretty good going for jeans. Okay, they were slightly snug getting them on over my thighs, but now they are on, they feel comfy. Let's see how they do on my waist. They felt a bit stiff doing them up. It feels like the button doesn't fit the hole very well, which I suppose is to be expected with cheap jeans. But on the whole, I've got a nice amount of room in the thigh and they fit quite nicely from behind. I feel like mum jeans can give you a really, really awful saggy butt, and while that's part of the look, it's nice if that isn't done too much. <laughs> I've worn a crop top so we can accurately compare how these look from the side, and they're definitely not digging in. I'm not getting any kind of spillage above and beyond what I would expect, which is really good. The real question is, do they pass the squat test? Yeah, I think I could sit in these all day, to be honest. I'm quite impressed, and I think for 20 pounds, you really can't go wrong. Thumbs up, ASOS. I knew there was a reason that I always buy jeans from you. Next up, we have the new look Waist Enhance Mum Jean. These retail for 25 dollars on ASOS, so 
Still a pretty competitive price for a pair of jeans. This is not a mum jean new look. <laughs> it is not a mum jean. <laughs> okay, they are up, but I feel like I've done a full on workout and I should put out a sweaty upper lip alert. Before I even try and button these, I think the first thing to say is these are not mum jeans. They are fitted on my thighs and you know, they look good. They make my legs look good. But when I buy a mum jean, this isn't what I want. I don't want to feel like I've got to do the dreaded jeans wiggle and end up with kind of sprayed on denim. I want comfort. I've just noticed that the label on these says that they do include lycra and I can kind of feel that. They were really, really tight to get into, but they do have some stretch to them. And actually, they're passing the squat test. I feel like I could sit in these. In terms of waist enhancing, I think they actually are doing a pretty good job of kind of sucking me in from the side. That really isn't what I look for in jeans, to be honest. It reduces the comfort and I don't need to be shrinking my body down for anybody. But if your stomach is a problem area for you or it's something that you're insecure about, these could be a really good option. I feel really held in, really secure, and I think they're at a really good price point. So overall, not a bad pair of jeans. They're just not mum jeans, so it's a thumbs down from me. Next up, we have the Simply Be Mum Jean in Vintage Blue. This pair set me back 30 pounds, so pretty much smack bang in the middle of the price range. I'll be really interested to see if these are any more generously cut as they're from a plus size shop, or if they fit just the same as everything else we've tried so far. These are much smaller than I was expecting them to be. They do do up and they do up probably more comfortably than the new look ones initially did, but they are not as stretchy. And once again, this is not a mum jean thigh. Do I just have really big thighs? This is the problem with sizing. When it's inconsistent, it starts to make you just pick your body apart. No, I do not have excessively big thighs, but these don't fit like a mum jean on me. Certainly not compared to the first pair that we tried on from ASOS. Again though, they're a nice pair of jeans. They fit nicely. I think they're true to a size 18. They fit my waist as I would expect. The only thing is because the denim's quite rigid, I feel like from the side, I'm getting a little bit of overhang and I don't think these are gonna pass the squat test. Yeah, no. I mean, as soon as I bend down, I don't know if you can see, my stomach <laughs> overflows. These are the kind of jeans that if you were sat down in them within a minute, you'd want to be discreetly unbuttoning them and pulling your t-shirt over the top. I don't need that kind of drama in my life. So surprisingly, I actually think the jeans from the plus size brand are the smallest ones we've tried on so far. This is why sizing just makes no sense to me. For me personally, these are a definite no and will be going back. Thumbs down. Next up, we're returning to my old favorite, ASOS. This is the only repeat brand in this haul. These are in authentic midwash and retail for 32 pounds. And they are described as high rise, slim mum jeans. This is the Farley style and I have had jeans in this style before. So I'm hoping that they will be just as good as I remember them. My first impressions are that as advertised, these are slimmer in the thigh than the first pair we tried on from ASOS. I actually don't mind that though because they told you that in the product description. In terms of the waist, they button and zip just as easily as the first pair did from ASOS. I think therefore the size 18s are fairly consistent, which is good to see. This pair is definitely a lot more fitted to my shape. I think you can even kind of see my hip dips. I don't mind that, it's just something to be conscious of depending on what your hang-ups might be. From the side, I think you can see that they're a good fit. There's no kind of overhang. I wouldn't say that they kind of hold my stomach in as much as some of the more rigid denim styles, but as a result, they're a lot more comfortable, which I suppose is the toss up that you make when you're looking at jeans. Squat test wise, these are okay. There's a little bit of stomach pressure. I definitely wouldn't want to be wearing these if I was suffering with like an IBD flare up, for example. I don't think these will be the pair I keep this time round, just because they are about 50% more expensive than the first pair of ASOS jeans and I think they've been the best fit so far. We are at the halfway point and I am sweaty. I knew there was a reason I didn't miss changing rooms. 
This pair are from Dr. Denim, which is a brand I'd never heard of before looking for jeans for this video. These were £32.70 on ASOS, so 70p more than the previous pair. I was assuming that given that denim is in the name, they would be jeans connoisseurs, but the first thing that I noticed before I've even tried these on is when I hung them on my hanging rail, they looked a good three to four inches longer than any of the other pairs of jeans. Which, bearing in mind I bought them all in standard length and a size 18, is a bit concerning, but we will see how they fit. These are a fail, I'm afraid, friends. Firstly, they are so, so long. I don't know how I can show you this, but they're all bunched up on my calves. I've got at least an extra two inches to play with on the leg. And as for the waist, it fully comes up to meet my crop top. I don't think I've ever seen anything this high-waisted before on me, and I used to be a Joni Jean addict from Topshop back in the day. They fit really, really comfortably on my thighs, but when we get to my stomach, there is just no additional room. And while I think I might have half a chance of getting the waist to shut, I'm not gonna get the zip done up and I don't want to break these jeans. So I think we're going to just have to chalk this up as a fail and move swiftly on. It's a no from me. Thumbs down for Dr. Denim. And I'd love to know who these do fit. Maybe some supermodel like Curve Girl who's six foot two. That ain't me. Next up, we have my old friend Topshop. Now, I feel about Topshop the way I think most of us would feel about an ex-boyfriend. We had good times, I look back on it fondly, but I never, ever, ever want to walk into a Topshop store again. That is slightly ironic because they've just been bought by ASOS and I'm really hopeful that now they are no longer under the Philip Green umbrella that they will become more size inclusive. When I was looking for jeans for this video, I wasn't actually expecting to see Topshop in the search as I didn't think they did a size 18. These are advertised as a bleach wash mum jean and they retail for 39 pounds. This is the biggest size that they do and I've never tried this style from Topshop. I used to be a Joni jean and Jamie jean kind of girl back when the spray on jeans look was at its peak in the 2010s. Okay, so far so good. Another stiff button. Oh no, I think I love them. I'll be honest, I don't think I really wanted to like these, but I love a light wash jean. I think that is part of the appeal. They are the perfect length on me. They are rolled into a little cuff, but cuffed, they're perfection. I don't know how well you can see, but they've got a little bit of excess room in the thigh, which is great. And yeah, they definitely passed the squat test. They've got quite a bit of stretch in them. Waistband wise, I feel secure, but I can easily kind of get an extra hand in here, so they're not too snug. And I think they look quite flattering from the side and the back. I'm impressed. I think there is a question of whether these are worth double the first pair, but I think they are comfier than the first pair and they do feel a bit more sturdy, which makes me think they might hold up better in the wash or with lots of regular wear. I'm really shocked I like the Topshop ones. I think, I think they honestly have a lot of suppressed trauma from when I had gained weight due to the steroids I was on for my IBD and I went into Topshop to buy a new pair of Joni jeans. And I think at the time they only went up to a size 16, I want to say. And I remember realizing that even those weren't comfy enough for me anymore and being heartbroken at feeling too fat for Topshop. And I think that feeling is one of the reasons why it's so important that high street brands expand their size ranges because no one deserves that feeling. It's horrible. Okay, moving on, because it's probably better I talk about that with my therapist and not the internet. But before we do, I begrudgingly give the Topshop jeans a big thumbs up. Next up, we have another high street classic, River Island. These are the Carry Comfort Sculpt Mum Jean in light authentic blue, and they retail for 42 pounds. When I saw these on ASOS, I had two thoughts. Comfort, yay. Sculpt, nay. The picture that they've got on the label basically looks like a perky bum. So maybe these are mum jeans, but with a perky butt. That could be a combo made in heaven. 
Other than that, there isn't much of an indication of what these genes are going to try to sculpt. My bum, my waist, the Michelangelo. I guess I should probably just try them on and we can find out. Okay, I can confirm. It's the butt that's being sculpted. These feel like a weird medium between a mum jean and a skinny jean. It's like my legs have sort of been vacuum packed, but in a good way. Does that make any sense? They are definitely tighter on the bum, which is flattering. But obviously part of that means they're also slightly snugger around my stomach area. I think though, because these jeans have been made with sculpting in mind, they've got a lot more stretch in them. They're not a rigid, tough denim. So even though they feel tight, squat testing them is more comfortable than nearly all of the other jeans I've tried on. They're a really nice length and have cuffed bottoms, very similar to the Topshop ones in that sense. They are definitely less true to the idea I have of a mum jean in my mind. These are nice jeans. Are they mum jeans? I suppose that depends how you define the mum jean, doesn't it? This video has got me having a lot of existential crises. We've reached the end, the final pair of jeans. They might be last, but they are certainly not least. They are the American Eagle mum jeans, and these retail for $64.95. I don't think I've ever spent this much money on jeans, but I thought it'd be really interesting to see if they seem worth it, especially in comparison to all of these other pairs. I have heard good things about American Eagle jeans from fellow curvy ladies on the internet like Miss Carrie Dayton, who rocks hers. So if they make me look half as good as she does, this could be a winner. At least a winner for my self-confidence, but maybe not for my bank account. These jeans, these jeans. Let me do them up and collect my thoughts. The fabric in these feels like butter, but also feels rigid enough to be denim. They don't feel like jeggings. It's like the perfect Goldilocks in between. I mean, I genuinely, I could stroke my legs. They are so buttery, buttery soft. They are the perfect length on me and we've got no cuffs this time, just a little raw hem. Okay, so from the side, I feel like they hold everything insecurely. They give me a nice shape from behind and from the front, but there's no tension in these. They, they fit, it's snug, but there's enough give that they are... These are so comfortable. <laughs> Is this the moment where I realize I've been living life wrong by buying cheap jeans? Okay, I think we need to put these through the squat test before I have a mental breakdown. <laughs> oh, they're good. These are the comfiest of all eight to squat in. This has actually been quite interesting for me because I didn't think there was any way that these jeans could feel worth 65 pounds, especially when I would say that probably my third favorite pair was the cheapest ones we tried on at 20. I think that just illustrates that if you are on a budget, there are some really, really good options out there. But if you do have the money to invest in jeans, these feel so good. <laughs> they are, a definite thumbs up. I mean, they're a double thumbs up from me. These have got to stay part of my wardrobe. I think this just illustrates how a good, well-fitted pair of jeans can make you feel. I feel so confident in these. I feel so comfortable in these and that is empowering. That empowerment doesn't come from the size in the back of the jeans. These are all size 18 jeans. Women's bodies are too complicated to be shoved into little boxes where you're told you're a size eight, you're a size 12, you're a size 18, you're a size 26, whatever. It doesn't work like that. And I think this shows that. These jeans are the best fit on my size 18 body. You could try them on and find that they don't work for you at all. And maybe one of these other pairs that wasn't as good for me will be your dream jean. I hope you've enjoyed watching me get sweaty on camera for your entertainment and that this video has shed some light on the frankly corrupt system of women's sizing. If you'd like to see more body confidence content from me, the best place to go is my Instagram as I post there every day. While we're in lockdown, I am pushing myself to upload two YouTube videos every week. So if you are not subscribed, then definitely click that big red button so that you don't miss the next one.
I hope that you have a lovely day and I hope that if you are on a quest for your perfect jeans, you fall head over heels in love soon. Bye.